a 28 liter rigid bottle that is surrounded by the air at 900 kilopascals and 22 degrees Celsius is in a complete vacuum. A valve at the neck of the bottle is now opened and the atmospheric air is allowed to flow into the bottle. The air trapped in the bottle eventually reaches thermal equilibrium with the atmosphere as a result of heat transfer through the wall of the bottle. The valve remains open during the process so that the trapped air also reaches mechanical equilibrium with the atmosphere. Determine the net heat transfer through the wall of the bottle during this filling process. As usual, pause here and try solving this yourself before watching the solution. This is the first example for the Transient Systems main lecture. The link to that 9 minute lecture and all the other lectures of the thermal course are found in the description below. The energy balance equation tells us that the energy change is equal to the final energy minus the initial energy. The energy change is the heat that went in, assuming it went in for now, plus the mass that went in with its specific enthalpy. The final energy is the final mass M2 times its specific internal energy, and the initial energy is zero, since the bottle was completely empty. Additionally, from the mass balance equation, we see that the mass coming in is equal to the final mass, since there was no mass at the beginning. So we can just substitute this in the energy equation and factor the mass out on the right hand side. This means that to quantify that heat that was transferred, we have to calculate the mass and look up the specific enthalpy and specific internal energy. Since air can be considered an ideal gas, M is PV over RT. We substitute P, V, R for air, and T in Kelvin, and find the mass. And we look up the properties of air at 295 Kelvin to write down the specific enthalpy and the specific internal energy. We substitute this in the energy equation and find that the heat actually has a negative value. This means that there was 2.52 kilojoules of heat leaving the bottle. If you want to check out other examples for transient or unsteady flow systems, make sure to check out the links I left down in the description below. You'll also find the links to the other lectures of the thermal course as well as other engineering courses. Thanks for watching.